I call the honour. Oh, uh, the question is that the motion be agreed to. I call the honourable Jerry Brown. <coughs> Uh, Madam Speaker, um, the Leader of the House finished, uh, excuse me, finished by thanking the Business Committee for consideration uh, that's gone into the preparation of this particular motion. The order of the Parliament, the, or the good orderly practice of parliamentary democracy, does require that there is quite an agreement about the way that the uh, processes of the House are run. Uh, we may, of course, uh, find that some of those processes are slightly derailed by some interesting rulings and, uh, and uh, decisions that are made on a daily basis. But in general, uh, there is a, an effort made, and I certainly found that to be the case in my time as Leader of the House, uh, by all parties to try and work to uh, results that give a, a sound and well understood process for the operation of the House. The first part of this motion today. Uh, as has uh, been outlined by the Leader of the House, allows for the budget to be delivered on any sitting day that is notified, previously notified to the House. The practice um, used to be uh, that the budget uh, process was quite tightly held. It still is to some extent. The, the crucial numbers are generally not known until the budget is delivered. But many of the aspects now are, 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 are notified to the public uh, even months ahead of time. So there was a time, for example, when people uh, would hear the budget read at around 7 o'clock uh, in the evening, and they, they would then uh, work out whether or not they were going to be paying more for their, uh, their cigarettes, their petrol, their um, uh, various other things that had uh, various other consumer items. Uh, even milk and postage were part of it uh, that would have a new price on them uh, by midnight. And you'd see often uh, people rushing uh, to uh, petrol stations, particularly uh, to fill up. Nowadays, of course, that sort of price increase appears to be happening on almost a 24-hour basis. And so the, uh, the need to wait annually for the budget for the urgent fill-up has been removed. But nonetheless, uh, the pain of having to do so uh, remains. The point is that if you look at, Madam Speaker, uh, almost uh, all of the aspects that were once uh, pretty new and novel in the announcement of a budget, they are now generally well known to the public. It's largely bigger programs that the government might be about to embark on uh, that are uh, laid out in the budget. And most often, uh, they will not have a commencement date, uh, given that it's a May budget, probably until the October or the following April. So the need to have that uh, uh, drama of the Thursday night budget uh, or, as has been the case in, uh, since about 1985, I think, the, uh, the, the two o'clock in the afternoon budget on a Thursday, the end of the week, is now uh, somewhat uh, um, mitigated. So uh, my hope would be that we actually see a budget delivered on a Tuesday uh, and that uh, while the um, uh, you know, full uh, contingent of uh, the media scrutiny is here, uh, that budget is discussed uh, by the House in the days that, uh, that come immediately after, without the pressure for urgent legislation. Because while that can come out of a budget, the trend in recent years has for there to be less urgent legislation than was once the case. Uh, and uh, so we see a, a simple change to standing orders that accommodates uh, what actually happens now. Uh, look, the only other point I'd like to make here is that the change to the estimates week is still subject uh, to the Business Committee's decision simply enables the Business Committee to take particular actions. I think it's worked well in the last few years, uh, and I hope that what it means is that there is a greater scrutiny uh, in the future uh, uh, during that week, or those weeks, uh, by media on the key, thing, key aspects of any ministry that is uh, effectively being examined uh, and questioned about the money, the taxpayer money, that they're going to spend in the coming year. So, Madam Speaker, this has been a process uh, that uh, has seen the Business Committee consider this. All of it has been on the table for quite some time, and it's, uh, I think, a good thing to see it all come together in this particular way. The extension of the time by which the budget uh, has to be reported back to the House, the three months uh, as it once was, now out to four months, also reflects the changing times that we live in and the fact that most of the information that might previously have come out of those debates is now generally in the public arena 
well and truly ahead of that time. So, Madam Speaker, we will be supporting this motion. I call Fletcher Tabbitt. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's a pleasure to take this uh, call on behalf of New Zealand.